Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. Are you fed up of waiting for Unity to compile scripts? Especially if you just adjust one variable or one small change, you might have to wait 50 seconds, depending on how heavy your Unity scene is. Now, Chris Hanslick's fast script reload has you covered and you can drop this in your Unity scene, be able to edit in play mode and make those compilations blisteringly fast. So you can navigate to Chris's GitHub and it's got version 1.5 at this current moment in time of recording. You can find his asset for free on the Unity Asset Store, but do remember it might not be the most up-to-date version. So you can click on here on the releases and you can download the fast script reload version 1.5. And this is a brand new URP scene in Unity 2021.3. Do be aware that the asset will work in previous versions, but you may find issues, so it cannot be guaranteed. So then right click, import package, custom package, and then import fast script reload into your project. And I don't think anybody can improve the speed of importing because Unity will forever be plagued by this. But needless to say, now we've got a pop-up which talks about auto reload and being able to disable that. And to make this asset work effectively, we want to disable auto refresh and it only refreshes when we manually need it because Unity by default would just do it automatically. And we don't want that. And do be sure to check out edit, preferences and asset pipeline and make sure auto refresh is disabled because this is something that tricked me up and Chris gave me a bit of advice on making sure that that was the case. So for you guys, make sure that's done and do be sure that there's full documentation that Chris has spent a long time putting together with most common mistakes fields. And if you've got any problems, do send him a message on what he can improve and help because this is an open source project that you can help out with. So once we've got that, we want to get to the startup window. So we go window, fast script reload and start screen, and you'll get all the settings that you can adjust and look at. So you can look at the basic example. This will open up the example scene that we have. You can hit start, open up this script, and you can adjust to any of the settings you want. And it will adjust in play mode in a few seconds, much faster than recompiling all the scripts that you have. And also if you're not in play mode, you can press Control R to recompile manually just in case you find any issues. So you can see here now, you can see this little example that Chris created. Now, if we go to a method talking about the ripple, we can just make a modification, an example modification, and I will just times this Z vector to by 100. And then when I save it out, you can see that it recompiled my script for me without me actually doing anything. And I can adjust my setting again, save that out, and it changed it again, depending on what we actually want to be able to create within our script. And we can adjust that perfectly in real time in play mode. Now, in this case, I've got an entirely different example and it's just Unity's tanks demo. And you could do things like shooting, clicking, moving, all sorts of different maneuverability. Now, similarly, just like I showed you in the previous example, we can leave this running in the background and you can see that I might want to just edit some things within script, as I say that if you want to adjust this, so I'm going to just make a, a random update. So I'm going to just make turn speed equal to a thousand. And you can see now that turning speed is absolutely crazy. And similarly with the movement, we could make it really, really slow. And then you can see that I've adjusted this. You didn't even see it compile, but movement has gone extremely slow. So you can go into any script during play mode and just edit it as you want. So it's a fantastic asset, which you should check out and do be sure to let Chris know if you have any struggles, any improvements that you want to make because it's open source and he's made it absolutely free for everybody to use. And be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 190 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And be sure to check out all the massive savings and links down in the description for the Mega Bundle, the Synity Massive Sale that's going on at the moment, and so much more. Do be sure to come and check out my website for massive savings. And thank you so much to all my patrons, and a big thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.